welcome back to another video uh, what we want to do today is we're gonna configure we're gonna test uh, the RTX 3090 against the a6000 and the a5000 these two GPUs has um, are the quadro version of the Nvidia GPUs that come with uh, the a5000 come with 24 gigs of RAM which is the same like the 3090 and the a6000 come with 48 gigs of memory now we're gonna see the real performance on, on Blender rendering different scenes so we're gonna we can we can see and compare the GeForce versus the Quadro uh, variant. So we're gonna be looking at different factors. Uh, one is gonna be temperature and the other one is gonna be utilization of the GPU. Now we're gonna see how this will affect how much memory is being used on these different scenes and why you may want to go with a A6000 with 48 gigs of memory, even that GPU is like $5,500 compared with $2,500 on the A5000 or the 3090 that you can buy for almost $3,000. So we're gonna see the difference between them, how they perform, and at the end we're gonna have a chart and you can check our other videos that we have with uh, if all the GPUs 2080s or uh, RTX 8000 or uh, 6000 the old generation so you can see how how much increase in performance you're gonna get with these new GPUs so now let's start the benchmarks okay so we're gonna start with the a6000 this is the most expensive GPU the selling price for the GPU is $5,500 and it comes with 48 gigs of memory now we have set up here Blender on a Linux machine, and I'm gonna show you really quick so you can check the GPU. So you can see here we say we got the RTX A6000 with 48 gigs of memory. Now I'm gonna be opening um, a project that you can download online, it's a demo, and we're gonna see how it will affect once you are um, scrolling playback through the, the project, how it will affect the GPU, and then when rendering. An important thing is before in the past, when you have these uh, models that you have to move around, they use the CPU, and sometimes it could be a little bit laggy, like on video editing um, software. Now they're using the GPU, and you see how when we move the scene between the scene, it gets uh, the GPU get uh, utilization, and it helps you to play back the the scene itself. Okay, to to see this really quick, what we can do is we can put this on the side, and then I'm gonna put this here, and you're gonna see. The utilization of the GPU and the memory being used and the wattage. Right now, I'm doing nothing, but if I go to the scene and slowly start moving, you can see the GPU now is being used 35%, 48%. You see? And the memory is 363 megabyte, which is nothing, but if you look at the wattage, it sometimes went up to 100 watts. So we're using the GPU to, uh, you know, scroll through the scene now that is much better than before when we were using the CPU you may have some lags or whatever but in the GPU is much better so that's the first thing you want to uh, have if you have for example um, a Thread Reaper or a laptop that you have a limited GPU you don't have the discrete GPU you may have that problem that you, you have lagging when you're moving through the scene so in this case here we're gonna um, set it up like from here and then we're gonna start rendering and see how fast it's gonna render with the GPU okay so let's uh, open it up and then we're going to go to render engine. We're going to make sure we select experimental and GPU compute. And here on the on the preference, I already set up the optics for the RTS 8000. I learned this uh, in the other video. One of the comments uh, let me know that I have to set up the optics instead of only CUDA. So it would activate not only the CUDA cores, but also the tensor cores on these GPUs, which is uh, a huge increase in performance when we use it. So we click on that and then now we're going to render the scene and see how fast it's going to take. Okay, I'm going to open for you really quick these two charts here because we want to monitor the CPU and the GPU utilization. Right now, we're using 3, three gigabyte of the GPU. The GPU is being utilized at 100% and the uh, wattage, it jump up to 300, which is the limit. And as you can see here, the CPU is almost not being used. Actually, it finished already and it took only 22 seconds uh, to finalize this render. Okay, GPU went down because of course we're not using it anymore. And the render is finished. As you can see here, this is the final result for the A6000. So 22 seconds. At the end of the video, we're going to have all the charts. Uh, but that's what we have with the A6000. Now, we're not going to do this test, but just to give you an idea how the CPU compare with the GPU. Even though if you have a weak GPU, like a 3060 or a 3070, uh, you're going to see how the CPU is slowed down the render time. So for example, I'm gonna switch here, I'm gonna select support, and then I'm gonna do CPU only rendering right now. So we're gonna see how fast it's gonna be, okay? So keep in mind, this is a 16 core CPU. 
Okay, we're gonna do a render image again. And now we're gonna see the render times. Now if we open the terminal again, so you can see here the GPU is almost not being used and uh, the utilization is like 0% and then the CPU is being used all the cores at the same time. And if here at the top we see that um, in order for this to finish, it's gonna take seven minutes. So seven minutes on the CPU compared with only 20 seconds on the on the GPU. And you can have a Thread Reaper with 24 cores. Just multiply 16 by 16, 32 cores. It's gonna be let's say four minutes, something like that. Compared with 22 seconds, still much better to render with the GPU instead with the CPU. Okay, so now we're gonna render uh, a more complex scene. So we're gonna see, uh, because I want to increase the memory usage on the GPU and uh, see how long it's gonna take for this one. So we're gonna select the same thing here. We got the GPU compute enable for the A6000. That's the one we render. And now we're gonna start the render times. We're gonna open the two um, terminals. The one on the, on the right side is a CPU and this one is the GPU. So you can see here CPU was used a little bit just to move the data to the GPU. Once the data is inside, start rendering. And you can see here it's using 300 watts, almost 300 watts. And the utilization right now is almost 10 gigabyte. This is very important. I'm going to explain you later why. And then here is the, 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 the temperature, which is pretty good, 56. And utilization is 100%. Now we're going to see how fast this scene is going to render on the A6000. Okay, so the scene is done. The temperature was 62 Celsius. And as you can see here, uh, if we finish in 53 seconds, that was pretty, pretty fast for this scene. Now, an important factor here was looking at the memory this time. Um, the render that we did before, we was using only three gigabytes of memory. This one was using 10 gigs of memory. Why is that important? Because Sometimes the GPUs can be the same performance, like for example, the A6000 may be the same performance as uh, the 3090 on render times. But the important factor is if your scene needs more memory and it's getting bigger, that's when you're gonna need um, a better GPU, more memory. Like the A6000 comes with 48 gigs of memory compared with 24 on the 3090. So that could be a limitation. And for some people, for some customers, they care about, um, they really big, uh, build big scenes that they need a lot of memory on the GPU. And the way to go in that matter will be to have the A6000 with 48 gigs of memory. But it doesn't mean that the A6000 is faster than the 3090. We're going to see it here. It just means that you need more memory. That's why you need that GPU. But in terms of speed, if we can say it like that, uh, both of them are basically the same. And that's another thing that I want to compare. Um, th that's why I wanted to compare the A6000 with the A5000 because both of them is kind of the same GPU, but the A6000 comes with 48 and the A5000 comes with uh, 24. So we're going to see the test now. We, do, we did these two renders. Now we're going to move the same thing for the 3090 and the A5000, and at the end we're going to have the results. An important factor here for the A6000, and we're going to see this because we want to check the, the component itself of the hardware, is the A6000 come with this adapter that you have to power up with two A-pin connectors. So that's something to keep in mind. It's going to use more power, 300 watt, compared with the A5000. So now let's take this GPU out of here, and let's put an A5000 in. Now here we have the A5000, it's basically, it looks almost the same, kind of same um, like the A6000. And then this time we're gonna only use one A-pin connectors here. Instead of two, we only use one. Okay, let's power out the machine. Okay, now that we have installed the A5000 GPU, let's do the same test that we did before with the A6000. I'm gonna make sure that we have so moving around the scene is basically the same thing i don't see any lags it's using the gpu like i said before even a weak gpu like a a4000 or something like that is going to perform well when you move through the scene right much better than if you have a cpu i don't see any lags here so that's fine and then now we're going to check the renders and make sure that we have experimental and we select the gpu so now we're going to render the scene we're going to open the terminal this is what we want to look at and as you can see here, utilization is 220 watts on the GPU already. And the CPU is not being used at all. Okay, so you can see here on the right side. Uh, it's just using a little bit when it's transferring the data because it's finished the rendering already. So we got 22, 23 seconds on the A5000, 24 seconds, compared with 22 seconds on the A6000. So it was pretty close. Uh, temperature wise was the same thing uh, they have both blower sedition fans and the water consumption was lower on this GPU which will be better for um, thermals it will be lower and also for power consumption of course 
okay and the scene was using only two two gigabytes three gigabytes like in the other one since this gpu come with 24 we're fine with them so now we're gonna test the more heavy scene to see how it's gonna perform and then let's do the render i'm gonna open really quick the the nvidia so you can see it now it's using cpu because remember it's just transferring the data to the gpu okay and now let's start rendering we can see here we're using the same amount of memory so 9 gigs like before and the water consumption is only 230 watts and the temperature is going to be i would say maybe the same the other one we get on the a6000 we get 62 uh, celsius here we're getting 56 okay and it's finished already so you can see we heat up to 60 uh, celsius and it finished the scene in 58 seconds we're going to compare on the charts see how fast is one uh, over the other uh, pretty much we run already these two scenes now let's switch back to, uh, let's switch now to the 3090 and see how that's going to perform now here we have the rtx 3090 as you can see the gpus most of the 3090s are big they have a 2.5 in 2 inches slot or 2.5 inch most of them like this one for example they have only two uh, eight pin connectors but most of them has even three so you have to consider that uh, for your power supply because for example the a5000 was only using one connector at 230 watts and this one is using could be using up to three which is going to be uh, up to 450 watts okay so that's something to consider okay let's turn on Okay, so we're back with the 3090 now installed. So you can see here on the terminal, we have the RTX 3090. Now I'm gonna close this, I'm gonna open the Nvidia SMI so we can uh, watch the temperature and the utilization. So you can see here, this GPU can go up to 350 watts. So that's more than the A5000, of course, and more than the A6000. We got 24 gigs of memory, which is the same like the A5000. And we're gonna see the utilization on how fast this GPU compared with the quadro versions A5000, A6000. Okay, so we're going to run exactly the same test. We're going to uh, minimize this for now. We're going to start with the first one. Then the first thing I want to check, like always, is to see if the playback is fine. I'm going to move around with the scene. It looks very smooth. So now we're going to start rendering. We'll make sure that the render is correct. Okay. Really quick, I'm going to open the, the terminals so we can see the utilization. CPU is nothing like always. And the GPU right now we're using 314 watts, so almost 3, 320, I would say. And the utilization is the same, it's 3 gigabyte. And the temperature went up, up to 52, 53. This is a very quick scene, we're gonna see the performance weather. You make a pick up to 325, 328, so almost, almost to the limit, 350. It was using and it reached 60 Celsius in that matter, 61. For this scene on the 3090, it took 42 seconds to finalize the scene, okay? So now, what I'm gonna do is we're gonna launch the other one, which is a heavy one uh, for the 3090. Okay, now we're back with the second test for the 3090. Okay, so we're ready to render. Now let's see how this is gonna perform. So let's see how the wattage consumption is going to happen on the 3090 this time. We're reaching the limit, so 350 watts is pushing all the power that the GPU can offer. And as you can see here, temperatures already is 69 Celsius on this GPU. Of course, the more wattage, the more temperature you get. Uh, utilization is the same, like 10 gigs of memory. This one can handle because it comes with 24. And let's see how fast it's going to render the scene. We're already reaching 70 Celsius, so that's like 10 Celsius more than in the A5000 or the A6000. So it finished up already, and we have here uh, a 52 seconds uh, for this scene on the 3090. No bad. Okay, we're going to open again the, the scene that we did before, just because we had a crash. I don't know why. We were rendering the scene, and once it's finished, the computer restart. So let's do that again. So last time it took... Uh, 52 seconds, which I think it was wrong. Something happened there uh, because it shouldn't take that long for the 3090 to finalize. So we run it again. Okay, same thing. We're re reaching 336 watt, so almost the limit, 60 Celsius, and this time it's more more likely. It's like 21 seconds, so it's like this A6000 basically. Okay, perfect. So now we're gonna move on to the charts so you can see all the the, the performance between the GPUs and the price comparison, so you can make your decision.
Okay, so that was the comparison between the RTX A5000, A6000, and 3090. As you can see, um, from my perspective, the best GPU in this case is the A5000, just because of the lower TDP consumption, which is 230 watts, and uh, the lower temperatures. If you look at the speed or performance, it's basically the same, just with a different second, uh, compared with the 3090 or 6000, but you get a better, um, turn, a better GPU in terms of price, uh, and performance. Now if you have a big scene like maybe uh, something that utilizes more than 24 gigs of memory that's when you want to go with the A6000 that's the only reason are actually different between the GPU and having more memory is actually costing you double of the price that you can get with the A5000 but if you're seeing use like uh, 20 or 16 gigs of memory it's better to stay uh, with the A5000 at least in my opinion compared with the 3090. Uh, less power consumption, less connectors on the GPU itself and at the end, the overall performance of the GPU will be better. Also, if you want to have a system that you want to have uh, three or four GPUs, it will be easy to install four or three A5000 because of the layout uh, Blower Edition compared with the Blower, uh, compared with the normal fans that come with the 3090. So that's something to keep in mind. I hope you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this. We have a, a video coming up. Uh, testing all this GPU for mining. I know people want to see that as well and I have a video planning for an RTX A4000 and RTX 3070 which is a middle level GPU but we're gonna see the performance between the two uh, for 3 rendering. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.